What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are going to continue to attempt to be a more prepared group of people here. So I've been working on water and food and fire and communication, and today is all about medical. So right off the bat, I am not a medical expert. I have taken a few trauma classes. I have taken a few uh, bullets in bandage type classes. Uh, my best friend was a trauma room, uh, trauma room nurse and he has departed quite a bit of knowledge down to me, but I'm still far from an expert, just so you know. Um, when you're buying a med kit, in my eyes, there's really two different choices. You can buy an empty bag and kind of fill it with whatever you want, or you can buy these pre-made kits like this, which are, in my opinion are a lot easier. And then if there's one or two things you want to add to the kit, you can easily add those few items. Now both are really good options, but I definitely prefer to get a pre-built kit Yep like this one here from my medic, and then I can add the one or two things in here that I want. Uh, my medic makes a ton of different first aid kits, and I mean an absolute ton. So if these are not right for you, definitely check out their website because they have a lot of different options. Now, before I forget, my medic did send both of these first aid kits to the channel for free, so I can review, educate you all on them, which is very, very nice of them. They also gave an affiliate link. Um, so if you want to get more information, do me a favor, click that link. It doesn't cost you anything but also at the same time helps keep the channel going if you purchase anything using that link. Um, one of the more unique things they offer besides these first aid kits, they offer these small med packs. And the reason they're unique, they uh, all the different, there's like uh, over a dozen different med packs and they're all task specific. So what I mean, they sell one med pack for stopping the bleed, another one for cuts and scrapes, burns, cold and flu, allergies, hiker, CPR, airways, blister, etc, etc. Now the med pack I asked my medic to send me was the pet medic. One, I absolutely positively love my dogs. Two, I take my English Bulldog Roscoe everywhere that I am allowed to and even some places I'm not supposed to. Uh, so this particular kit has some rolled gauze, gauze pads, Benadryl, antibiotic ointment, a few different wipes, Sensi Wrap, which is a really cool stretchy bandage type stuff. Um, it also comes with a slip, slip leash and some tweezers. Um, I, I w actually would could have really used something like this last 4th of July. My, my bulldog got out, he, he tripped in the driveway and ripped his toenail off and he was bleeding a whole bunch to the point where I almost put a tourniquet on him because it wouldn't stop bleeding no matter what we did. So a kit like this probably would have been very, very helpful. Uh, speaking of tourniquets, I will probably add a SWAT tourniquet into this kit. Um, SWAT tourniquets are not my absolute favorite. I love cat tourniquets, but the cat tourniquets are not great when and you have uh, small limbs of kids, young kids, and dogs. It doesn't really cinch down around it. Uh, the SWAT tourniquet is very useful in a lot of different ways besides using it as a tourniquet. You can cut it in half. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. But it works really well on kids and on dogs. So like I said, my medic sells a ton of different first aid kits if this one here isn't right for you. This one is called the MyFac, which we're gonna get into in just a second. Uh, some of the other kits that they sell, they have a bunch of really big, legit backpack type first aid kits. They sell first aid kits geared towards auto mechanics, uh, boats, uh, range kits, EDC kits, Sutra kits, and a really, really cool waterproof floating kit called the 10 Essentials. I really like the 10 Essential kit because it has a wide variety of products. It has stuff for first aid, emergency, survival type gear, and the bag could really be used in a wide variety of scenarios. So the MyFac is my medic's most popular first aid kit. It has stuff for burns, bandages, medicine, uh, filtration, breathing, stopping the bleed. Like I really don't know how they fit so much gear inside this bag. Uh, it's available in two different options. It has a basic version or the more or an advanced version. Obviously the advanced one comes with a lot more gear. So the bag itself is made from a very, very durable material. On top there is a clip and there is a Velcro strap to help keep it closed. Uh, the zippers have a little pull tab on there to help you open and close. And then the zippers themselves are like oversized, heavy duty, snag free. They work very, very well. You shouldn't have an issue there. The front of it has Velcro if you want to add a patch. Um, and it has Molly as well. So you can add different things. I'm probably going to add a cat tourniquet. Uh, in my opinion, you should be able to get to your tourniquets very, very quickly. You shouldn't be fumbling around for them and opening bags. Someone can bleed out very, very quickly. 
Um, that's why I always keep a tourniquet on me at all times, at least a SWAT tourniquet, if not a cat tourniquet. Uh, the other thing I'll add besides a, tourni uh, a better tourniquet to this is I'll probably add some snacks to it because I add snacks to everything. I get hangry very, very easily. There should be gummy bears and M&Ms everywhere. Um, anyway, besides that, the back panel is Velcro, so you can pull it away very quickly, easily. You can hook this up to a headrest in a car. Uh, these two straps here are Molly if you want to hook it to something that has Molly like a backpack, which is what I'm going to do to this. I have an emergency bag in my car and I'm going to stick this right to the front when I'm done with the review. So what you could do is hook up the Molly and if you ever need to, you grab this handle and pull it away quickly in an emergency. So buckle up boys and girls, we are going to go pocket by pocket and look at what is inside this bag. And when I say there's a ton, I am not kidding, there's a ton. We're gonna go through this little flap right here first. This little flap pulls away, it's a little Velcro. Inside here, we're gonna have a couple set of gloves. If you're ever doing anything blood related on a stranger, a lot of other things you can use gloves for, but that was the first one that comes to mind. Uh, this is your packet for medicine. There's uh, ibuprofen in here, there's Dramamine, there's stuff for upset stomach, diarrhea, there's a whole bunch of good stuff in there. And again, you can easily add your meds in there if you need to. Uh, wound, pack, uh, uh, wound closure strip. Uh, these are all the different uh, liquids. What I mean is antibiotic ointment, there's oral pain relief, there's sunscreen, there's lip balm, <coughs> excuse me, petroleum jelly, a lot of good things in there. This packet here is all your towelettes. It's five or six different type of wet wipes, antiseptic wipes, stuff like that. And last but not least, these are, um, what do you call it? Uh, electrolytes. You can add these to water if your you know, blood sugar level's low and it will give you a good kick of electrolytes. Next up, we're gonna go over this pocket right meow. Uh, the first thing we have is some sodium chloride, which is saline solution, uh, which is good for many different things. Um, possibly the coolest thing in this entire kit are these Micro Men Cup Kit. And I'll show you a picture of what they look like here. I like these so much, uh, I may do a dedicated review on them. If they work half as well as my medic says they do, they are amazing. So if you have a big cut, a big laceration, they're kind of heavy duty band-aids, reinforced band-aids that will close up that laceration. Um, especially if you're far from a hospital, it's gonna take a little while to get to a hospital. These are a great thing to do to, to seal up and slow down or stop that bleeding. Uh, triangular bandage, which is great. In this little kit, you have a small flashlight, you have a thermometer, scissors, and tweezers. Underneath all of that, this is an emergency pressure bandage. I typically buy the H bandage or an Israeli bandage, but this is absolutely fine. It will work as a bandage, no problem. You do have some tape, and then this is a compression bandage with a finger splint. So if someone breaks their finger and you need to splint it up, uh, bandage it up, tape it up, that's all that stuff is in here for you. Alrighty, last but certainly not least, we're gonna go through the uh, the back pouch here. And once again, there's a ton of stuff in there. You have a uh, space blanket, which has a ton of uses. Obviously, you can use it as a blanket and many, many other things. It does come with a rat tourniquet, and I will leave that in there, but I am not a huge fan of the rat tourniquet. Uh, a lot of people use them incorrectly. Under stress, it can be difficult to use correctly as well because you really, when you wrap it around, you really need to make sure you line all them things up. And I've seen when people are under stress, they end up doing this, and it doesn't always work as well. Uh, it's better than using like shoelaces or something, but this is definitely not my favorite tourniquet. Um, the nice thing about it is it's very small and easy to keep. So if you're gonna, if this is the only tourniquet you're willing to carry, it's better than nothing. But for me, again, I prefer the cat and the SWAT. So I'll leave this uh, rat tourniquet in there and uh, probably never use it. The other reason I don't like the rat tourniquet is it hurts. All tourniquets hurt, but the rat is extra special pain, man. It's not cool. Um, you have a thing of paracord, which again has 8,000 different uses. You have a little whistle, uh, chem light to mark your area. Quick Clot is fantastic. I definitely carry quick, quick Clot in a lot of my trauma kits uh, on my uh, range belt and stuff like that. Um, you know, you stick it in the wound, dress it. That uh, definitely helps slow down, if not stop the bleed. Uh, chest seal, I hope I never, ever, ever need a chest seal. 
uh, but if I do, I'd be happy I have it. This is a CPR shield. Again, this is kind of buried in the kit, and if you're ever gonna need to give somebody CPR, I wouldn't want this to be buried, so I'm probably gonna move this. Um, if it's a family member or one of my kids, I could care less about a CPR shield, but if it's a stranger, I'll probably be looking for it. Um, added to the list of things I hope I never have to receive, ugh, a nasal airway, just the thought of that bothers me. It has a whole packet of burn uh, dressings and liquid and a bunch of different options. This is a huge envelope full of a bunch of different band-aids, gauze pads, conforming, roll, different sizes. There is a few dozen different uh, band-aids and gauze uh, pads in there. You have some trauma shares if you need them. And I think there's one more thing. There's some liquid bandage in here somewhere, but I think me playing with the kit, I must have moved it somewhere. There is so much stuff in here. It's absolutely ridiculous. Most important, get training. Some of the stuff in this kit, like the Tylenol and the bandages, band-aids, that stuff's pretty simple and anyone should be able to use those items. Other things like tourniquets and quick clot and chest seals and nasal airways, ugh. Um, that stuff requires a little bit of training and a little bit of knowledge to use them properly. All of the nicest gear in the world is kind of useless if you don't have the training on how to use it properly. Uh, anyway, the pros in this bag, I think overall, my medic makes very, very high quality products. The zippers, the pull tabs, the Velcro, the Molly, uh, the products inside here. Everything about this bag is very, very high quality. Now there's definitely less expensive bags you can get. But there's certain things I don't suggest you skimp on. Uh, medical gear is absolutely one. If I'm relying my life or a loved one's life to medical gear, I'm not gonna skimp on it if I can afford. Um, Self-defense tools, whether it be a firearm or something else, I am not gonna skimp on those. I'm gonna make sure they're high quality and reliable. And the third thing I never skimp on is condiments. Don't buy the generic mayonnaise. It's just gross. I promise you will regret it. Anyway, cons. The only con I have about this bag is how they include a rat tourniquet. I understand why. It's very small and it's very easy to carry. It's light. Um, I just have seen too many people struggle with these under stress, um, not use them correctly, not work correctly. You know, most people see this loop and they think you put your arm through this loop and you don't. It's not the way it works. Again, if this is the only thing you can carry, if you're not willing or able to carry another tourniquet, it is better than not having one. And again, make sure it's easily accessible. Having it buried in the bag is kind of useless. Um, but me personally, um, I definitely prefer the cat tourniquet or a SWAT tourniquet. That is just my opinion. Now, as far as uses, I am going to put this medical bag on the outside of the backpack that I keep in my car. In my car, I have like an emergency bag. A lot of people call me get home bag. Um, and there's blankets and fire starting stuff and a whole bunch of survival type stuff and lots of snacks in that bag. And the front of that bag is Molly. So I'm going to attach these Molly straps to the front of that bag. And if I ever need it, I'll be able to grab this handle and pull it off very quickly. Besides adding it to a backpack, this would also work really, really well inside of a boat, inside of a car, camper, RV, hiking, uh, prepper, and, and you could leave one inside of the house. Again, there's so many different uses because there's a, such a wide variety of things inside this bag. You can use it for many, many different uh, situations, many different scenarios. Again, if this kit is not right for you, my medic has a bunch of bigger ones and a few smaller ones, so you can kind of figure out what the best kit is for your situation. Um, the advanced version of this does cost $240. The basic version of this does cost $120. Uh, again, there is an affiliate link down in the video description and pinned in the comment section. If you wanna help out this channel, use that link to make a purchase. It really, really helps uh, keep uh, this channel moving forward with those very small kickbacks that we get. Before you guys go, let me quickly thank my medic again for sending these two very nice kits for us. Uh, I know some of the things in here will definitely get used, like the band-aids and the medicine. I pray I never need a tourniquet, a chest seal, and definitely that nasal airway. Uh, just thinking about that thing freaks me out. Anyway, thank you guys very, very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, please drop a like drop a comment, click the subscribe button, enable the bell notifications, check out my four stupendous channel sponsors. If you think I deserve it, doing any of those things really, really helps out this channel, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.